In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool animated slide in Canva using the morph transition, where you click, you zoom in on a specific part of the image. And once you click more, you zoom in on a different part and give different information. So you can really customize it and zoom in on different parts of the presentation. While at the end, you can go back to the full screen picture and have a nice loop in your presentation. I think this is a cool way to show different products of your portfolio. So let's see at how we make it. And for this tutorial, I've split it up in three parts. First, we will look at making the different slides. Then we'll look at animating the components. And eventually we'll look at the transitions between the slides. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first we want to go to the elements tab and here look for, let's type in living room. Click on photos, see all. And this gives you a selection of living rooms that you can work with. You can do this effect on any type of picture. I'm going to go for this nice minimal setup drag it on the canvas and release. Now we hide this part and look for the text element. So let's add a title, add a text. And here you can type in whatever you want. Let's say it's your company name. So we type in company and we increase it in size. Let's close this. Then we have more room to work with. And I think the colors on this picture are pretty nice. So we're going to change the color and let's see if we can grab any of the green colors here. I think that's a bit too light. So let's see if one of the darker tints, I think that looks quite well and it matches quite good. So let's call it company, hold option shift or control shift to create a copy, make it smaller. And in here, let's type in our products. Let's make it a bit smaller, position it in the center. And for the font, we're using Montserrat, but we're going to use a sub font, extra light, and maybe put it in cursive italic. There we go. Then we position it underneath and we have your a room for the company title or the company name and then our products the introduction of the presentation now we want to create a few copies so go to show pages at the bottom select the first page and press ctrl d or command d on a mac let's remove the text boxes and zoom in on a part of the image so we're going to hold the ctrl key and scroll backwards that way you zoom out you can also use this toggle switch so if you scroll it to the left you will zoom out now we're going to grab one of the corners and increase it in size so that we put the emphasis on one of the parts. And in this case, it's going to be the sofa here on the right. Now let's zoom in again and let's go to elements and type in shape. We go to the alt tab or you can go to the shapes tab here. That doesn't matter. And you choose the rounded rectangle. Feel free to choose another shape if you like. And I'm going to put it right here somewhere in the center of that box so we have equal side on the left as on the right transparency i'm going to add it to about 40 points that looks quite good now we want to add some text to the slide and for that to go to text again subtitle or maybe in this case i think title will be better title and let's call it a cozy sofa you can give it whichever word you like or title you like make it white and then position it on the top corner of that box that we've created. Now we want to fill in some dummy text. So either you can select the body text here and put it there. But if you want some dummy text, you can always use the apps here and type in lorem ipsum. And this will give you some dummy text generators. So if you want a placeholder, you can click this quick lorem one, three sentences, and then add to design. And this will generate some text. It's pretty convenient if you want some filler text while you're making the design and you don't have the final content yet. Make it white and now we're going to position it correctly on the design. So let's select that tab, shift it to the top of it. There we go. And these three, we can group them together so they act as one group. We can reposition, but the nice thing is you can also adjust this size and everything will go with it except for the sofa here. So I think we need to ungroup that first and then make that larger, align to the left. And then let's readjust so that we have a good box to work with. There we go. Group. And normally this should align nicely. That's what we want. So cozy sofa, that's some explanation of your first part. And now we go back to the elements tab. And here we want to type in line. And line, we want to go to the shapes tab not the graphics one, but the shapes and click on see all. And these are connectors that we can use. So you can choose whichever style that you like. I'm going to go for this 
round corners. And this way we can sort of play around with where the starting and ending point is of a connector. Grab one side and connect it to that middle part of your design. So you can see as soon as you hover over it, it will sort of snap to the boxes or to the middle. So depending on the style that you want, you can adjust it. And then it's easy to adjust the end point as well. I'm going to add 40 points of transparency. So we have the same look and feel of the connector with the box. And then if you want, you can change the line type. If you want it like an elbow curve or to be curved, you can adjust that here in the top menu bar here. I think I'll go for the elbow curved. I think that looks quite, quite good. Now let's close the tabs. And this is already our first highlight or our first zoom on the picture. Now we go to the page tab again, so you can unhide pages if you still have it. Control D to create a duplicate again. And now we're going to readjust. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this for now and readjust our picture. For example, to focus on the chair on the left side and then go to the second page. This part, we can group it together so it acts as one. Control C, Control V to place it on the other side. And here I think it can fit nicely at the bottom. We just ungroup and then change the connector so we match it nicely with this chair. Now the curves look a bit strange, so this way it will look a lot better. If you want to zoom in more or less, you can also do that by increasing or reducing the zoom. I think in this case, it will be better if we increase the size so that the text will be clearer on this part. So let's select the tree group. We can play around with the width of the box, position it in the bottom right corner. And then maybe let's see if we can connect it in a different way. I think this looks quite nice. And then let's change it. So small chair. There we go. Now we duplicate once more and let's put a zoom on a different element. Maybe the plant in the middle or the table here next to the sofa. I think that looks nice. Zoom in again and just rearrange. Let's call this small table. Increase this in size. Could contain some information about the material price. That doesn't really matter. And then maybe one more to close down where we remove everything and we go back to the original picture or the original sizing at least. It's connected at the bottom here and then do it like this. Copy the elements and then here let's do a thank you for watching or any other call to action that really depends on the presentation that you're giving. It's just the concept that we're looking at right now. So let's position it here. And now that we have made the different slides, as you can see we have the opening slide, company, our products. We have the highlight of the cozy sofa, the small chair, small table, and then a closing slide. We're going to look at the animation of the components on each slide. So for that, we go to the first one. We select both the titles, animate. And I think in this case, a rise animation will be quite good. Go to the second page. And that's why we want to have everything grouped as one. Go to animate. I think also here a nice rise animation will work. Pen will also look nice. There's a few different ones depending on the style that you could use. But I think in this case, we're going to go for a rise animation for both. Select both animate in and out. And then the speed, you can reduce the speed. I want to have it a little bit slower. So I'm going to repeat that for the others. Select the items. Don't forget to group, that's important. Select everything, animate, rise, and reduce the speed by just a little bit. And then once more for the smart ta small table, group, animate, rise, and then reduce the speed. Same here for the final closing slide. For consistency, let's use the same one. Just gonna double check if I have the speed. Also on the first one, there we go. Then everything's consistent. So now that we have animated the different slides, let's already preview what we have so far. So we have the opening slide, then we move to the second slide and you see the jumping is quite abrupt. So now we want to look at adding the transitions of the slide. And before I forget, I'm going to duplicate the page, the first one, and then remove the text on the first one. Then when we play, that animation will start on our click and I think that looks nice. So now we're going to look at the animation part. So show pages, hover in between two slides, add transition, and we're going for the match and move and increase to 1.5 seconds. 
click on apply between all pages so that it applies between all the different pages that we have made. And now let's preview what we have. So here we have the clean opening slide. That's why we removed the title and duplicated it. As soon as you click, you get the intro title, company and our products. Click once more and it will zoom on a part of the image and make sure that the tag appears of the sofa. Click once more, it will zoom on a different part, the chair. Click a third time for the table and then eventually a final time where you zoom out again and have your closing call to action. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.